Senran Kagura is in a dark age right now, and it's playing the game of time, a game where the original concepts or the entire franchise remain intact along the years, or some of the concepts of the franchise just do not offend an audience that doesn't play the game, or the worst case scenario, entirely removed. I've been a fan of Senran Kagura franchise since I bought Bon Appetit in Steam in December of 2017, initially for having a laugh with these fan service scenes while they're cooking the meals. While it's limited to fan service and, let's say, Guitar Hero replacement for me, because it is a rhythm in song game like Audio Surf, I consider it a good game. And after seeing how the characters interact with each other in the story modes, I thought in buying one or few more games of the franchise. So I did. This is how I entered myself in the realm of the Senran Kagura franchise, and then by buying all the games in Steam to this date. Many people have been having positive critiques of these games in Steam and probably in other platforms since it provides not only the things I love, that are attractive girls and being bouncing boobs, but action and fighting scenes as well, along with a good story. Oh, and before you write in the comments that the story is not the point of the game, or how it's badly written, two points. One, I never said the story was the main feature of the game. And two, it's my opinion. I like the story, people love praising diversity of races, genders, social policies that discriminates on the skin color and genders, and sexual helicopters, how about a little of diversity of opinion? Anyway, back on topic. Senran Kagura has been a target for authoritarian censors since the release of this first game, in September of 2011, and still these games have been doing fine, gaining popularity thanks of the users' reviews and videos they do of these games, like the video of PewDiePie about Senna Kaura Estival Versus, which you should see it if you're interested in this franchise. In very recent months, there's been a controversy surrounding Sony's policies that some of you know and others may not know, since Sony's headquarters moved from Japan to California. What's the controversy, you may ask? Well. It's a very good question, and there are several sorts of answers depending on who you're talking to, but I will summarize it, it in a few words and hopefully you will get the big picture on this phrase. Sony's policies force Japanese game developers to remove the sexual or even suggestive lewd scenes of their games, basically removing any kind of fan service on Japanese games. As some of you may say, but as far sir, come on, they can censor Japanese games. Sony's Japanese. Okay, yes, you're right. Except in one tiny detail. Sony was Japanese. Notice was. Sony headquarters moved into California, a country placed in America. The new policies became quickly well known because of various major points. Hear me out. On the first major point I'm going to cover it's related to the game called Omega Labyrinth Set. Not Senran Kagura. You guys might want to skip this out since it's not related to Senran Kagura. But I recommend you to listen and consider. Not listen and believe, listen and consider. Because it's a very related story towards this. For what I've seen, Omega Labyrinth Set is a game that allows you to travel in dungeons with the appearance of, the, of a maze, fighting monsters along the way and gaining experience to level up with the story progressing as a visual novel. Basically, a Japanese role-playing game with fan service themes like bouncing books and interactive with the girls in a lewd way. In June 2018, it's announced that the game won't be released in PS4 and PS Vita. The reason for that is because apparently the game didn't comply with the QA tests, 
that are supposedly test to supposedly tell if a game is <coughs> offensive to an audience who doesn't even play the game. Even if, even if the game developers have the age restrictions already set, that is M for mature. Yes, it is a game for adults officially, but it won't be released on these platforms in any other way. The pro to protect the kids, even if the age restrictions are set. The problem is this, someone with brains in their head will tell perfectly that this is a game rate M for mature. I go with that. Having games being categorized for their content is encouraged as a guide for parents buying games for their kids. Despite the kids still playing violent games like Call of Duty. Now we'll be moving to the second major point and it is related to Serran Kagura now. Thank you for the patience. In 13 of October 2018, it was announced that the Senran Kagura Burst Renewal Intimacy Mode was removed for the PlayStation 4. Intimacy Mode is a game mode of Senran Kagura that allows you to interact with one of the characters of the game without going on terms of pornographic content, meaning you can massage her breast, slap her butt, squeeze his breast, touch her crotch, even pet in her head, but you can have sex with her. Do you want sex? Well, I suggest you play Holy Select, but that's another topic. Fortunately, the game is already on sensor in the Steam store, so PC gamers have some advantage that PS4 players don't have on the subject of this game. Oh, and by the way, the intimacy mode for future Zen and Kaura games will not be available for the PS4. Enjoy what you pay, folks! The third and last major point is way more concerning and more important, and again, it's related to Serran Kagura. More specifically, the Serran Kagura 7 upcoming game. So, despite its short point, it's the most important one on the subject, since me and many of you are Serran Kagura fans. So, listen up. There was an interview to Kenirichu Takaki, Senran Kagura, producer and Honey Parrot Games president. One of the things he said, and I quote, It seems the original idea we have imagined would be impossible to release, so we are redoing or rather reconsidering everything about the game. Senran Kagura has been dealing, to my knowledge, fine, attracting otakus and gamers all worldwide despite the efforts of censorship on them. I heard the game developers have removed the character's age from the biographies to make people who don't play the game less offended. If anyone has any info about that, please let me know in the comments below. But this is an insanity that people have to consider. This ugly attempt to censor Senran Kagura is what I call censorship. Some say localized, some say regulated. No, this is censorship by definition. The suppression of speech, ideas, public communication or other information on the basis that such material is considered objectionable, harmful, sensitive, politically incorrect or inconvenient. You may probably think, okay, fine. Then PS4 doesn't accept sexual content, even if it is implied or suggestive. If you think that way, my friend, then I'm afraid to say that these allegations contradict with this rule. There is a game that is called Dream Daddy, a gay dating simulator on visual novel style, a game that features a lot of content focusing on gay romance and gay sex while at the same time it doesn't allow specific content about Senran Kagura, nor even entire games like Omega Labyrinth set. First of all, I don't like Dream Daddy. I'm not the target audience of this game, but there's nothing wrong with the existence of this game. I just want to point out that there is a double standard when it comes to sexual content, in just in case you, are, you aren't putting two and two together. There are 
kinds of niche audiences that want the entertainment satisfied in a certain way. And there are many kinds of games to, that target these audiences, specifically when it comes to flash games on PC. I support the existence of a game specifically designed to a certain audience, even if these games aren't made for me. However, after this double standard, there are two rational decisions to be made to avoid contradictions. Either Sony follows its rules and bans Dream Daddy, or Sony changes its rules and allows the rest of the games to be created however they wanted without any kind of third party intervention or regulation apart from the age restriction. But they won't do any of that. And Senran Kaura will die horribly because of this madness. I guess the point of this video is to point the big picture I mentioned at first. There is a certain discrimination against the target audience of these niche Japanese games that are straight males. They are happy keeping Dream Daddy on the platform while denying the existence of the other games. Games that I should add that don't harass any real person. I believe Sony is using a specific set of rules as it is. To determine if a game is offensive, they ask the question, would a straight male be attracted to this? If, a, if the answer is yes, it needs to be censored. If the answer is no, they need more of it. There are many extremely active puritanical members of left-wing activism that allow this kind of discrimination happening, allegedly claiming that think of the children while well, these games don't exploit children and at the same time the leftists are exploiting children in teaching transgenderism in schools, putting transgender kids in reality shows and even teaching them how to masturbate in YouTube channels. They are claiming that women are being harassed while no woman is being exploited in the making of these games and at the same time these people are the ones harassing women for having ideas that are not aligned with theirs. They are claiming that there is sexism in the media while well, there is no victim in these games and at the same time they acquire enough political power to ban a job that women can do with their bodies well could do such as Great girls in Formula 1. They are the ones who aren't playing these sorts of niche games, yet they want them censored or removed from the existence. They are the ones who think the world is based on two social categories, oppressor and oppressed, identify themselves as oppressed, so they are merciless when they are facing the oppressor, making it justifiable for them while causing all sorts of harm to everyone. And before you tell me in the comments that I'm going too political on these subjects, let me remind you that they, the left-wing activists, are the ones constantly pushing politics, pushing an agenda against straight males with intersectionality. Jordan Peterson explains this concept better than me, link in the description below. You may not be interested in politics. But politics are interested in you, and since politics invaded gaming and taking our games away, I think it's time to fight back against this nonsense like we did in the final bosses of Final Fantasy, Super Mario, Perfect Dark, Half-Life, so on. Hell, I considered myself a leftist in the past, but given the way people on the left have been doing, the way they operated to suppress business to harass their families and harm their income. They have been harassing not only the political enemies on the right, but absolutely everyone, including people on the left, eating their own allies. After seeing these outcomes coming from the left, I can't consider myself a leftist anymore. I don't wanna be associated with this ideology anymore. 
That doesn't mean that the right hasn't been censored anyone. Nor I'm saying that we go easy on the right. I hate censors, wherever they come from, from the left, from the right, even from centrist. A YouTuber, Raging Golden Eagle, has made a detailed video explaining why we can't compromise with people who want to censor works for people who want to be left alone and enjoy these works. I recommend watching this video. I think it's the most important video for anyone against censorship, link in the description below. So I think the most important question, after considering these subjects, what are we gonna do in order to save Serra and Kagura? Well, there is a solution I can think about. The first step is realize what's been happening not only with Serra and Kagura, but with works that have been censored on the long run, such as Omega Labyrinth Set and possibly more important examples I haven't mentioned. We are in this together and we need to talk about this. A user made, made a petition in change.org to change the censorship policies on the PS4, but it's losing signatories mysteriously. Hmm, I wonder why. The second step is to find videos and articles talking about this topic. A simple search of Senran Kagura censorship or even Sony PS4 censorship in YouTube or even in your preferred search engine can show reports of this. And share this with your social media, Twitter, Facebook, Minds, Reddit, Gaf, Vote. We are out of we are a minority. You can share this video as well. And the third step is to contact Marvelous Games. And I don't mean a simple tweet or something similar in their respective social media. Use email. I'm linking the contact page. Use this link to contact Marvelous and ask kindly not to capitulate in Sony's demands. Remember, take your time writing. Be polite and don't use hateful terms nor swearing and cite precedents with sources if you need to. We have a responsibility to do, and I believe writing emails have better effect than simply commenting with 240 characters in a social media post. Because people write people all the time and that can create a burnout on communication with people. And that happened to me before. But with an email, anyone can write an email and there's no limit in writing emails and it enables formatting, making it look more professional. Therefore, a well-written email has the potential to change minds. If there are more emails to contact with the team, let me know and the people in the comments below. To finish this video, they are developer and employer from Honey, Parrot, or Mabelus. If you are watching this video and you happen to know English, listen. I'm going to be honest with you, but also I'll try to be as civil as possible. As a customer who bought all Sen and Kagura games in Steam and almost half of the DLC of all these games, I think my opinion has some kind of value for a company who makes games for an audience who enjoys these games. And I'm sure there are several customers who think this way. This is a warning. There will be consequences for Senran Kagura and probably for your companies and the rest of your products if you don't do anything about it. Move out of Sony's boundaries. Release the game on PC, Switch and even Xbox if you have the resource to do so. If you release the game as initially intended from the first moment of the development of the game for these platforms, you will be fine and I will keep buying your products as long as they are not censored. But if you capitulate to these authoritarian, puritanical, anti-creative and malevolent rules, if you release a censored version for the PS4, go ahead but I won't care about your products anymore, even if you are in real numbers. There is a famous concept, get woke, go broke, and exist for a good reason. 
If you stop being loyal to your customers, if you stop giving customers what they want, if you listen to activists who don't even play your games instead of your loyal fans, you'll go out of business. This is the poor definition of get woke, go broke, and there are many companies that stopped being loyal to their target audience and went broke afterwards. Please steps, at least consider your two options. Then you can make the decisions you want to make and be aware of the consequences. Because if you make a mistake, Serran Kagura will die horribly.